when I was younger, something I wrote down on a notepad. I want to be a professional bike rider. I want to have video parts. I want to have X Games medal. Didn't care what medal it was as long as it was a medal. Knowing that I'm living in that actual moment. A lot of the times I think it's easier to fall into that rut of nobody around me looks like me, so I can't be a part of this. I'm Demarcus Paul, professional BMX rider based out of San Diego and from Albany, Georgia. I'm at my old elementary school. And this is where it all started. When I personally think of Dawson, it brings so much emotion when I hear it. It's like, damn. Going to a segregated school means that I couldn't go to an all-white school, but someone that's white could come to my school. For me to be the age I am now, and that wasn't that long ago, being in a small place like this, there are certain things that still are in place right now because of how things were 50, 60, 70 years ago. It takes a lot of like courage to face those fears of like being completely different from the norm of whatever this sport or lifestyle thing that you do. At the age of 11, I moved to Albany. I went to my first integrated school. Take one gnarly ass rail, Albany. <laughs> Sick. This particular rail was like one of the biggest rails in the city. If you did this one, it was considered crazy. All my friends were like hanging around the top and they were like all stoked. I did it first try. Might have to grind it for old time's sake. You can build so many different relationships and friendships just based off of bike riding. It's always cool when you can be yourself around other people that can appreciate the same things you appreciate too. So. I think it was around 2011. I had a car accident after working a long shift. After that happened, I finally started to take BMX seriously. I looked up a few different places to move to. San Diego is like the BMX mecca, so I made the decision to move here. Being in California and like being embraced by all day and how it's so family-based, it was something I could relate to back home in Georgia. To be accepted and treated like family, around people that don't look like me, that don't talk like me, but we share something. And that something is love and BMX. The community aspect of BMX is like extremely important. When you feel like you don't know what direction you wanna go in, follow the lead of your friend. It becomes a group, push everything forward and make everything way more fun. My guy. <laughs> It doesn't matter what your orientation is or what you do or your occupation is. If you ride BMX, that's still another window that can bring you together. Um, I say take away. Sorry. Still sit real close, like a lot of the, the childhood stuff. Things you have to accept that they were the way they were. And when I think about it, they do put me in a very emotional state. Um, not that anybody else has ever seen that, but now they will. <laughs> As a father, I put more focus on my kids. I don't want them to move into a place like that. We chose to keep them here to keep them well-rounded when it comes to like having so many different types of friends from all different walks of life. A summit to me would be not just the top, but the things in between that are worth celebrating.